Hi, this is Selena from LookWe'reLearning.com, and I'm here to talk to you about how I teach third grade math to my child with ADHD. Our third grader, Ricardo Tigger on the blog, has been diagnosed with Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, so keeping her interested in math can be a bit of a challenge. I'm going to show you a few of the manipulatives and resources we use to help her stay interested. We're using A plus Tutor Soft Math this year for our core math curriculum. We're using the computer program CD, but we're also using the printed workbook and curriculum book. I like the workbook for her because the worksheets are short. They're about 10 problems per sheet, so it's not too much for her to finish before she loses interest. We also like the curriculum book because the lessons are well explained and highly organized so that they build as we go through the chapters. The worksheets even have colors and graphs and pictures which keep her interested as well. We also use math charts. We've bought a few from places like Dollar Tree. We stick them around the house just to kind of keep things in front of her. The more she sees it, the more she becomes familiar with it. She starts to just mention it in conversation and that sometimes helps her to get interested in the topic instead of trying to sit down and talk about it in a more structured way. We do make use of a small chalkboard in our family. We're the eclectic homeschoolers, but some structure seems to be helpful, and we have her come to the board to do problems quite often to keep her from having to sit for too long a time. Occasionally we use lap books. This is a lap book that we did about time, telling time, lots of uh, things that she can move around in there, puzzle pieces to put together flip books, all of those little things keep her hands moving which keeps her attention on the topic for longer. And as I mentioned in a previous post, we love anchor charts. We use them for core concepts that we'll be referring to quite a bit, especially topics that we need to build on over time. Multiplication is one of those. This is a multiplication chart that we've used this year. We got the idea for this from Pinterest and we like this chart because it talks about the parts of the multiplication problem and then shows how she can solve it. Another chart we've used this year is decimal place value, how to read decimal places out correctly. And we've also used this one on multiplication which gives three different ways to try to solve a multiplication problem. When we used this with her, she seemed to take to the circles and dots way the best and that was how she learned to multiply. And over time she's learning to memorize her multiplication tables, but using those methods where she could visualize what she was doing really helped her grasp the concept to begin with. And these are some of the ways that we use resources and manipulatives and curriculum to teach third grade math to our child with ADHD. You can read a post about the same topic at our website, lookwe'relearning.com. You can also follow along with our Homeschooling with ADHD series where we give lots of tips and techniques that we've used and are still using to help her enjoy her school experience at home. Thanks for watching.